Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can use DaVinci Resolve to go and edit TikTok videos, aka DaVinci Resolve for dummies. You're welcome, Matt. So many people, notably my friend Matt, has been hounding me for a while to go make this video and I keep saying that I will make it and I've put it off for ages, but you know what? We're doing it today. So. DaVinci Resolve is a free video editing software and it is basically akin to Premiere Pro. I used to use DaVinci Resolve to edit my older YouTube videos. If you scroll down to the bottom, the first probably like 20 videos, maybe 30, were edited all in DaVinci Resolve. It is a very powerful software. But it does come with a very steep learning curve. But don't worry, I'm here to go and walk you through that. So first and foremost, we're going to want to go and get DaVinci Resolve open and it will look like this. So first off, we're going to go and hit new project and you can title this whatever you want. I will just title this TikToks. Now it will take us to an interface like this. So first we're going to go grab our clip or whichever video we want to edit and drop it in this master section right here. If you want to know how you can go and find clips from your stream to go edit or the best workflow, I have a YouTube video already made about my content creation workflow and how I efficiently go from a stream to vertical TikTok videos and YouTube videos. So it will be linked up there if editing cat remembers to add it. So I'm just going to take this clip that I have and drag it. We are not going to change the project frame rate. And now it looks like this. So we're going to take our clip up here and drag it onto the timeline. And now it looks like this. If you do not have this editing side right here on the right hand, that is the inspector. So if it looks like this, if we click the inspector, this will open up. So when we're trying to edit TikTok videos, they are vertical. In order to change that in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna go to the top right where there's this little very tiny, very difficult to see a square or a rectangle image next to these little circles with the sparkles. We're gonna click that and click portrait. Now we get a vertical video. So now on the bottom bar here, we are going to go to edit and that takes us to a layout like this. First and foremost, when we're editing for TikTok, we want to make it as user friendly as possible, which means making the content as easy to see right here like this. This is very difficult to see. You can tell that you can see me in chat, but I am super small and especially on an iPhone or any phone for that matter. Why didn't I say iPhone? I'm going to look very tiny, so we need to make ourselves bigger. So we're going to click the track down below and then in our inspector on the right hand side where it says zoom, we can either double click and manually adjust the number or we just click and drag and it will zoom us in. So I want to make sure this is zoomed in to me and then we can adjust the X and Y positions. So I will adjust the X axis so I am centered. So now we're going to want to go and clip or cut this clip down to the important content. So we're going to be utilizing these tools down here. These are the main two that I use, the blade tool and the arrow tool. So the keyboard command for this is if you press B, you'll get into blade edit mode, which will allow you to cut the clip into sections. You can also use control Z to undo any actions. And then if you type A on your keyboard or if you click this arrow, it will take you to selection mode and you can select individual clips. Whenever there is a clip that you would not like to have, just hit delete on your keyboard and it gets rid of it. One other thing I want you to note, if you hold alt on your keyboard while you're in the arrow selection, you can select the individual audio track rather than both the audio and the video track together. Normally when you click, it'll default to select selecting both at the same time. But if you hold alt, it will only select one. So let's say that you hypothetically want to cut out or remove part of an audio clip, but you would like to keep the video. So to do that, we go use the arrow tool, hold alt and click the audio track. Now we're going to press B to use the blade tool and then hold alt and then cut. And then we're going to go back to using the arrow tool and then make sure the audio track is selected only and hit backspace on your keyboard. That will then delete the audio clip, but leave the video. If you were to go and click the audio track, but hit delete, it would delete a corresponding section of the video as well. So make sure you don't do that. And the same logic applies if you're trying to omit part of the video track, but leave the audio. So to edit your Twitch clip into a TikTok video, we're just going to go and cut to the important section that you want to cut to. I'm just hypothetically going to randomly cut 
into these two sections. We're going to press A for the arrow tool and then delete everything else. And let me delete the audio track as well. So now we're left with this section. Hypothetically, if we were to use this section as a TikTok video. And if you are editing for TikTok, let me just remind you that TikTok videos do well when they are short and sweet. So I really wouldn't exceed 15 seconds. So actually, I should cut this even shorter. Also, if you were going to go and adjust the timeline window, let me move myself over here real fast. If you were to try to zoom in on this timeline, you think it's too small, this slider right here, you can either zoom in or out. Also, if you would like to mute the audio track for any reason, right here, if you press M, you can mute the audio. So how can we make this look a little bit nicer for TikTok? Here is one little thing that I like to do. So we can go click the track that we want. And if we hold Alt and then click and drag, it will duplicate the track. You can do this instead of copy and pasting. I prefer doing this. So on this video here, we're going to go under the zoom and drag it until our video fills the entire frame. Now over here on the left hand side where the effects are, we're going to go under open FX and go under filters. We're going to click Gaussian blur and drag that over our video track. On the right hand side, under effects, we're going to click that and this will take us to the effect we just added, which was the Gaussian blur. And we're going to go and increase it until it looks very blurry. So now down here in the timeline, we're going to click our original track and just drag it up one and then drag the blurred track behind it. So now we get a very nice Gaussian blur above and below. Unfortunately, there is no auto captioning within DaVinci Resolve. Premiere Pro can do it, DaVinci cannot. So if you would like to add captions, you have to manually do it. And it is a lot, it's a bit tedious, but I'll walk you through how to do so. So to go and add captions, the way I do it, first off, I like to zoom into the video track so it's easier to work with. And then on the left-hand side here, we're gonna go to where it says titles and scroll down to the bottom to where it says subtitle. So I'm gonna click that and drag that on top like so, try to center it a little bit. Now we get this text option here. So we have to manually change the text to whatever we want it to say. And we can also adjust the style. We can change the fonts. For captions, I like using a thicker font. This looks nice. We can increase the size. You can also add a stroke, which I like adding because it adds a cool looking outline. Make it thicker. This just makes your text more readable. You can also add a drop shadow, which makes it stand out better. Then we can adjust the position, the X axis and the Y axis. And then I want to just drag it all the way up. And on the very side, if you go to the side of the track, you can adjust the length of it. So unfortunately, you're going to have to go and manually add all your captions. One thing that really helps again is if you hold alt and then click and drag, it will copy over the track, but then you can change it. So like this, so then it makes it easier instead of copying and pasting like that. But you do have to manually go through and add all of your captions. So whenever you're done adding your captions, now it's time to export our video. To export, we're going to hit this button deliver down below and it will take us to our exporting window. So this is the normal format that I use for exporting my videos. If you did use subtitles to go and add captions under subtitle settings, and please don't forget to do this, they will not export if you don't do this. Check export subtitle and then format you want to burn into video. This will ensure that your subtitles actually will show up on your video. Otherwise, they will not show up if you don't burn it into your video. And then whenever you're done messing with this, we can hit add to render queue. Here, you can go and give a name for whichever video file you just made. And then on the right hand side here, we just click render all and it will render the video for you. And then you're done. All right, so I want to start editing the DaVinci Resolve video like right now. And then I realized I forgot to go show you an important thing as well. So that was if you have a video that is that doesn't have a face cam that you need to crop out. If you do need to crop out a face cam, it is more work. So if you have a face cam you would like to go and crop out, we're going to take the video track. I took a different video track this time or a clip, one that I had a face cam and something that I was showing. We're going to then hold alt and then drag so that we duplicate our clips. And now we have two of them. So under the inspector on the right hand side, under cropping, we're going to click that. And then you can click and drag and adjust the amount that is cropped from the left side, the right side, top and bottom. So I'm going to crop it so it's just my face cam. 
Now we're gonna want to use the zoom to zoom ourselves in and then we're gonna have to adjust the position sliders. Okay, so I am satisfied with this now. So again, we're gonna go and hold alt, click the audio track and then hit backspace so we get rid of it. And then we're gonna take this and drag it on top. So now for the track below, we're gonna use zoom and zoom it in to whatever um, important element we want to show. So I only want to, sh I want to make sure you can see almost all of this um, website that I'm showing. So to make it look a little bit better, I want to crop the extra tabs off. So under cropping, I'm going to go crop the top and the bottom off so you can't see my browser. So this looks cleaner. Again, I would like to go and add a background blur onto this. So using the desktop capture, I'm going to hold alt on this track, click and drag. And then it's the same logic that I just mentioned. So I'm going to do this kind of quickly. We're just going to zoom in, look for the Gaussian blur, drop it on top and under effects, just turn that blur up. And then again, we're going to get rid of the audio track. And then we take these two, scooch, oops, scooch them up one and drag this behind. And now we have our video that is formatted vertically, but it has our face cam cropped out now. So I hope you found this video helpful. This is my DaVinci Resolve for Dummies. I did a very, very basic breakdown of how to use it. And in full transparency, I got Premiere Pro maybe um, maybe half a year ago, six months ago, and I haven't used DaVinci since. So I'm a little bit rusty on DaVinci, but this is the basics and I did use it to edit a good chunk of my YouTube videos. If you'd like a more in-depth video or like, I don't know, just let me know down below. And I also have tutorials on how to use Premiere Pro and I will link them up here if I remember and down below again if I remember. So I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, I'd also appreciate it if you check me out on Twitch. I do stream four days a week, weeks, Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 7 p.m. PST. And also I'd like to give a big thank you to my Patreons, Evil Core Misayan and Yuga Lele. I appreciate you guys so much and I hope to catch all of you guys in another video. Peace.